Welcome to the Norton Way YouTube channel and here we're going to be introducing the new MG5. It's based on the same platform, same motor, same engine as the previous model because it was very very successful, very reliable, very powerful and it only comes in the long range battery but as you can see from the front of the car it's been completely redesigned, much more elegant, much more streamlined. Keyless entry, keyless start, 17 inch wheels are standard on the, on the, on the trophy range which this is full leather on the top of the range plenty of room in the back for the family, five seats, two isofix we've actually borrowed a prop here, so there's an MG suitcase, it doesn't come with the car I'm afraid but just to show you, you can get plenty of luggage in the back and that's with the seats up seats down, it's over 1500 litres so now let's take it for a spin, see how she drives on the road, different conditions, go through some of the features. So, and off we go, just going to get my seat set up, six way electric seats, a oh, little bit of use of telescopic steering wheel, push button start, and off we go. As you can see, we're in the middle of the beautiful Richmond Park, so it won't be able to drive particularly fast but we get faster a little bit later on. along down there at under 20 miles an hour gives me a good chance to show you some of the features digital display for the speedo what you can see on the dashboard at the moment is the cruise control settings so adaptive cruise control very useful on longer journeys all the audio controls on the left hand side automatic lights automatic wipers they really are very well equipped these MG's to run the cyclists over Get a little bit warm in here What I like about this MG5, you've got these two handy switches on the left hand side here so you can quickly change the power of the regen braking, three different settings, less powerful, more powerful and you can also quickly change the, 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 the power mode of the car from eco to normal to sport and it really is very responsive in sport mode. in the summer, everything's coming to life. Richmond Park on your doorstep as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just cut all this out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just take the sound off and speak outside. 
<laughs> Quickly turn into a sightseeing tour of Richmond if we're not careful. <laughs> Oh, lovely house here. Yeah. Don't, like, don't like the windows, eh? <laughs> Just gotta be careful not to go too fast as well. So one of the features of the, the, the new MGs is the auto brake hold. It's very useful, but we'll often have to demonstrate it. So if we come to a slow moving traffic like here, because it's an automatic car, it'll constantly want to move unless you've got your foot on the brake. So if I let go of the brake, it will move forwards. If I push this little button here, engages the brake hold, and now I can take my foot off the brake and the car doesn't move. So automatically release the second you touch the accelerator, so for situations like this where there's a little bit of traffic, it really just means you don't have to sit with your foot on the brake because that can become a little bit tiresome, um, especially if you're stuck in a long, long traffic jam. So as the traffic starts to slow down and stop, use the regen braking just to slow the car down as much as possible. Try not to use the brake. Gives you the best, uh, the best range out of an electric car. Now when you do have to stop, let the car slow itself down, use the brake at the last minute. <laughs> no way she's going to stop now is it? <laughs> so now we come to a standstill, a little green P comes up above the mile, the, the mileometer and now the brake's locked. Touch the accelerator and away you go. So now we're going to head up onto the M4 just so we can get a little bit of speed up and show you how the cruise control works. It's an incredibly smooth car to drive, it really, the suspension is terrific. So let's just get ready for a little bit more speed. So I'm going to switch it up from eco mode. A couple of notches up there, you can feel it change power straight away up into sport. This bit's more for me than it is for you, but... <laughs> this is where we hit a solid traffic jam. I shouldn't have said it, should I? <laughs> So the MG5, you've got the cruise control sticks just down the bottom here, it's a separate stick. Put it towards you to get it ready for use. Once you get used to it, it's really easy to use. Push the set button to keep you at the speed you're going. Up or down, goes up and down in five mile increments. Flick it away from you to cancel, put it back towards you to re-engage. And because it's adaptive, it locks onto the car in front and keeps you that specified distance from the vehicle in front of you which you can change by switching this little knob backwards and forwards hello you're welcome
start using the cruise control now actually. So if I set it at 37 miles an hour, ACC set at 37. Now the up and down five miles an hour, it goes in uh, round numbers first. So if I push it up once, it goes to 40. As you can see, it's keeping us this set distance from the car in front. If I reduce the speed, uh, the, reduce the distance setting, then we get a little bit closer. Anyone familiar with this bit of road? Just about to open up onto the M4 where we can give it some guns. response in sport is just magnificent it's a very practical car but it doesn't fail to put a smile on your face just re-engage the cruise flick it up to 70 Coming back down the other side of the motorway. It's all clear, let's give it some juice. And that's 70 already. Effortless. So we're just coming back to the dealership now, home sweet home. So you can see where you need to come. Just come off the Chiswick roundabout, which connects the North Circular to the A4. Chiswick's a nice place by the way, if you're ever thinking of visiting. And here we go. Try not to run Zach over. <laughs> so when you do come to visit us, there's usually places to park on the right hand side, it's quite busy today, but if you follow it around there's a lovely big car park around the back. So we're just going to park up and go through some of the infotainment features, obviously while we're not driving and it's safe to do so. so let's Reversing camera, 360 degree camera, there's really no excuses. Useful parking lines, it's just an easy car to drive and park. Pop it into park and off she goes. So built in here as you can see it's a very ergonomically designed cockpit, very easy to use, very comfortable, nice big armrest here which I like having and the infotainment system's terrific. It does have a built-in navigation system, which 
To be fair, it's the best one I've ever seen. It's a lovely big screen. It's very good, very clear, works really well. You, they're notoriously bad built-in nav systems, but this one's terrific. So if I just hit the magnifying glass, one of the nice features being an electric car, as you can hit on there and it shows you where all the charging stations are nearby. Now it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which for any of those who've used it, that's terrific. You can have all your apps on there. It basically mirrors your phone. You can use your Waze navigation or your Google Maps navigation, which are much more accurate than any built-in system as far as traffic and things goes. But this is a very, very, very good system indeed. Hit the home button, built-in digital radio. As you can see, I listen to the news a lot, a bit boring, but you've got FM, AM, or any apps you've got on your phone as well. So if you've got an iPhone, you can listen to a podcast and your iTunes library. So uh, yeah, a very, very good, uh, very good system built into the car and very easy to use. See his Android Auto there. So what, just swiping the screen across, you've got some setup for the vehicle. So you can change some of the uh, electronic setup. So the safety systems, you can manage those quite easily and some air conditioning settings as well. So you can change all of your heating controls from, from, from this screen on here. It's all touch screen, very responsive, works really well. I've never had any trouble with it at all. So yeah, very good built-in systems and yeah, very comfortable place to be, I have to say. So thanks for watching again. Hope you enjoyed the new MG5. We've got to go back to do some proper work now.